we um, why don't we start it up? We'll call the meeting to order at 501 um, Clean Lake Committee. Uh, let's see, uh, Thursday, May 21st, five o'clock. Um, so I guess approval of meeting minutes from April 9th is our first item. I'd be happy to take a motion to approve or if you guys have changes. I'll give you a motion to approve the minutes of uh, last month's meeting. I'll second that. Get a second for that? Yep. All right. Um, I guess, should we do roll call vote? Or, I, you know what, why don't we just, um, I don't know if we need to do the whole roll call vote, considering I think uh, everyone's approving it. So, um, any um, uh, nay votes, let me know. Hearing none, uh, assume that passes uh, unanimously. Uh, jumping into item two, <laughs> or I should say, uh, actually item three, uh, public participation. Um, if we have any members of the public, if they'd like to speak, now's your time. Um, There's at least one person connecting. I'm not sure who. Okay. Why don't we um, you want to hold off for that person to connect and then see if there's any any comments from Perfect. them? Yep. Shall we move on to item four? I think so. <laughs> all, right. all right. So three, it's all you. Town Council meeting, uh, Bree, uh, update on the meeting and vote. Yes, so um, we have some good news from the Town Council meeting. So Bill, Claire and I presented at the last Town Council meeting, I think on May 11th. Mm -hmm. And um, Bill and Claire presented kind of the larger overview of the project list and priorities that we've all prepared and looked at. and. Um, I did a little bit of an update on um, uh, community outreach and the project plan going forward. And we also asked the town council for two motions, um, one to support the project recommendations um, of the CLC and then uh, also to appoint the non-student or non-vote, non-student, non <laughs> we want them to be a student, non-voting student liaison to the committee. And um, the town council unanimously approved both motions. So. Um, mm -hmm. That was great. They were very supportive of everything we've done so far. They made really nice comments about how much we've um, kind of accomplished in a short period of time and the large list of projects that we have to tackle. So um, overall, it was really well received. Yeah, that's great. Um, and just to give you all a heads up too, I have received at least one resume that's, I mean, I know they're going to go to the council too, but at least I've seen one student that has some interest in the Clean Lake Committee. So that's a good thing too. So. Awesome. Yeah, and I've also received one too. Great, great. So that's good. So hopefully, um, so at least you know, two. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, we don't get a ton because I mean, I think we're only getting one. So I'd hate to have to start picking between um, kids, but I mean, yeah, it's, cool. it's a good thing. I, I think that I mean, so what we what we talked about a couple of meetings ago, and also what ESC has done, they just took every student member that applied. So we might have some possibility there. Okay. All right. Well, that's good to know. So, um, you know, maybe we can do that. If, if, we, if we have that flexibility, I think that'd be great to do. So, yeah, the more the, more the merrier. So, uh, <laughs> the more the merrier. <laughs> uh, anything else on item four, guys, or do we want to jump to five? All right. Uh, hearing nothing on uh, item four, we'll move to item five. Um, so, I'm going to give you an update on uh, Main Street and Lake Q for the MVP application. So, um, so that is due in July, uh, I'm sorry, in June, about, I think it's the 11th of June or somewhere around there. Um, so we've started up application and um, revising the plan to make sure things are constructible and starting up to get that application together. Um, that's moving in a, in a pretty positive direction. Um, I'm expecting, we'll, we'll definitely hit the deadline, no, no worries about that. Um, you know, we'll probably be tagging Claire in in the next, probably the next week or so to help us out with some of the um, uh, cross talk between uh, the
the MVP and the project and how all that dovetails together. Um, but we're moving that forward and, and um, you know, I'm hopeful that we'll, we'll hopefully pull up $2 million out of this thing, which would be great. Hmm. Um, also looking at the Gertrude Spalding project that started up last week. Um, we're, we're about, um, I'd, I'd say probably like 60 to 70% done at this point. We're expecting to be pretty much substantially complete by the end of next week. Uh, by a retention area that has been installed. Um, the drainage that will connect to it is underway or is installed as of today. And then um, we have irrigation systems. Those are all being installed. And um, really the only thing that, that is left for the bioretention stuff that we really care about is the plants. Um, I've also been working with our, um, our communications manager on um, the circuit sign that, that you know, really thanks the Friends of Lake Quinnipowit for all the work that they did to, to obviously to fund the project and make this a reality. And then, um, you know, talks really about what the fire retention area does and all of that stuff. So when I have the final markup, that's great. Questions or comments, let me know. Um, but we're probably in the home stretch in the month too. So I'm hoping to really box this whole project up in the month of May if possible. So, um, you know, that, that's, that's kind of where we're sitting on that. Um, anybody have any questions or comments on that? That's awesome. Yeah, I think it's going to be, a, it's a pretty cool project to be honest with you. Yeah, you know, pretty excited. Good. All right. Um, and then actually one cool thing that's, that I, I thought the group might like is that, so we sized this initially just for, um, to retain some amount of stormwater and to give some infiltration in there. But we actually sized this thing to remove 99 percent of the phosphorus and nitrogen that's going to the lake that would contribute amazing wow and be discharged from the park and from the road that's adjacent to it so um so that's a pretty cool thing and it's something that we're including in the interpretive sign too and then as you know right. as we get to the, to the main street stuff we're trying to expand those you know we presented that we can at least get 60 percent and we're going to be refining the numbers of how much nitrogen and phosphorus we can use as an annual load um down the rest of main street too as we expand it so um, so it's pretty cool. I think a, a lot of positive stuff coming out of that. You know, the, the council was really adamant about having metrics for things. So we want to make sure that we're metricing these projects to some degree as we move forward. So, um, so that's, a, I think, a, a positive thing. Uh, so any uh, questions on item five before I move on? Ooh, I just have one. No, um, ahead, Rob. Rob. So at our meeting, it was mentioned the fact that people were wondering what is going on at the Gertrude Spalding yeah, Park. Yeah, I got that too. Yeah, mm. we, we, oh, okay. we looked at actually doing a sign to explain it, but we figured that honestly the project's going to be done in the next like, week. So it didn't make a right. ton of sense to do that. Um, one of the things that I'm looking to do is a construction, um, kind of like an ongoing construction page that you can see what we're doing and why we're doing it. And that would obviously include all the projects for the Clean Lake Committee, kind of similar to what we presented. Um, so it's a similar story map that you can click on a project, it opens up, it gives you people you can call to ask questions and all that stuff. So um, that is actually in development and will be done in the next week or so. Um, unfortunately, the timing for Gertrude Spaulding wasn't great, but um, we're working on it now. So that'll be something that goes forward for all work in public works, um, not wow. just- that's great. Lake. Yeah, so you basically, as you see stuff going on, you can click on it and it'll tell you if it's, you know, private sector work, if it's, you know, related to public work themselves doing something, if it's the light plant or who, you know, whoever it is and what um, program or project that's that's part of. So, um, so that's that's coming, um, just not quite ready to deploy yet, you know. Yeah. So, but, we'll, but it'll be there in the next, you know, like I said, probably the next week, week and a half or so. Hmm. That's great. Yeah. Wonderful. All right. Uh, so jumping into item six, communications. Elaine, now that you've joined us, hello. Hi. How are you? <laughs> Good. Fine. Thanks. So, so um, yeah. Last we left, you were going to call the reporter Mark Sardella. Yep. I have put at least an e I put an email into him. I didn't hear back, um, but I will follow up again and see if we can get something. I'd like to at least get an article going on um, maybe maybe the Gertrude Spaulding project or something to kind of lay out what we're doing and point people to the website and the, you know, the, um, you know, we're also doing a story map for the entire lake that'll talk about every project that we're- Okay, uh, that sounds good. You don't, you don't yeah. 
I'll give him a call or call the editor. Um, I think Gertrude Spaulding um, a project would be a good place to start, especially if he can expand it into the context of the whole Lake Quantipowit project. Yeah, I, I think so too. I'm so that's surprised kind of the back from him. Okay. All right. So yeah. So I'll, hopefully I can get a hold of him and we can, um, you know, kind of ham hammer that out. Um, but I, you know, I think he's kind of spread pretty thin because I mean they have, you know, daily, you know, daily, um, you know, daily newspapers that they try to put out every. Whether he has the time to, to do the whole, I'm assuming at some point someone's going to do the article, but um, we'll keep we'll keep hammering him home and hopefully get something um, you know something done on that end. I think that'll be good. You know, uh, Bill, if he's spread too thin, mm -hmm. uh, maybe maybe there's a possibility we could send something into them. That's a good point. Yeah, and and I consider, I consider that too. So um, you know, maybe somebody on the committee here could write up a write up. Um, but let me do this. What I'll do is um, I'll communicate to the group on where we are. Um, do we have anybody that would be interested in maybe drafting something up to include um, in a maybe as a future article to at least get them started? I could do that. Okay. I'll run it by you first just to make sure I've got uh, everything uh, correct sure. and it with what's going up on the website. But um, I'd be happy to that or talk to him directly or whatever the case may be when when you hear back from him let me know sure um did you okay. see by any chance the so the town administrative report that he sends out um that actually included a little blurb on it too to let people know mm -hmm. and um so jen helped me draft it so we kind of dovetailed it together to you know to make it less technical and more of a easy read for most for your average person um, yeah. So we can probably steal most of that language at least to get it started. You know, okay. it's a couple of at least it's a couple of paragraphs to start with. So, Bill, is that for uh, General Queen Lake Committee, or is that for the Gertrude Spalding project specifically? This is uh, Gertrude Spal just Gertrude Spalding. Awesome, perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's so it's in the the what the she does like a um it's like a town administrator uh blast that she sends out to everybody that's uh, that's signed up for updates and they do it i think it's a monthly update who does this sherry no this is uh this is jen mcdonald okay yeah so it would have been there i can send you i got a copy of it i'll send it to you and jen okay. also sent me a draft to review i mean it, it was pretty solid what i did is i sent her actually our noi application to you as a starter and then she basically distilled it down to a decent couple of paragraphs but at least it's a good starting spot for us. If we want to expand on it a little bit, we can probably do that too. All right, sounds good. Cool, all right, so I'll, I'll get that out to you. Uh, Rob, update on collaboration with uh, ESC in our virtual Earth Day. Oh, yes. So um, we've got maybe 15 between pictures, poems, photographs, and a, and a video. Um, and WCAT put that into a, a, a slideshow for us. And that, that's currently on the ESC website and the awesome. um, mm. Wakefield, Wakefield CAT uh, website. Cool. So, um, yeah, so it went, went well. Not as much participation as we expected, but um, it sent out late. So I think we'll try and do it next year and send it out earlier. Neat. Okay, cool. All yeah. right. So, uh, I think it'll be a good it's going to be a great opportunity. Hopefully next year we're not in this situation and we can, you know, actually get out there <laughs> right. and do things. But it might make a little bit of difference. But, you know. Right. <laughs> um, we could do some education so, around it beforehand or something, but yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. And if we get into it, I think we, I really want to start ramping up the communications going forward. So, you know, once we figure out where we are with the uh, um, MVP grant and see where that lands, uh, I think we'd really want to start ramping up communications and how we're disseminating I mean, you know, kind of to that end, the you know the story for each project. Um, I'm working with my staff now to pull together um, essentially like little maps and, and and quick designs, like kind of an idea of what we would look to do for these lo like different locations around the lake. Um, you know, for all the projects that we identified, just so it's a little bit cleaner and clearer. Um, so that would be kind of the next piece, I think, for us communication-wise that we'd want to start thinking about. Um, so you know, I'm I'm figuring. We'll probably about a month away from that, but we could potentially send that out as a review to everybody. If maybe we do 
um, if the if the committee's um, you know good with this, we can send say four or five projects to each member and then have them all you know update those pieces with the narrative and stuff and send them back. Mm -hmm. You know, and we'll have like a kind of a format and a template that you're kind of trying to follow. And then we can kind of talk about each project and what, we, what we're thinking about going forward, if that makes sense to everybody. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that sounds great. All right. Yeah, cause they, you know, I know a few of you, you know, want to be a little bit more hands on. And I think we need to figure out ways to do that. So um, this might be a really good opportunity. Um, you know, so what I'll do is we can take care of most of the graphics that would go with it. And then the narratives about the project and kind of how that would all work. Uh, I think you've each, you know, say each person takes three or five of them or something and then develops that and pulls it together and we can just send them around to the group and, and then we can all edit them and decide what we want to change or tweak for the project and make sure we all understand the scopes and then, um, you know, come in and talk about them. So. That sounds great. Okay. All right. So we'll maybe we'll add yeah, that as an I, I like the sound of that. So I think we add that as an action item for us. And then um, what I'll do is I'll send something out this week or well, actually next week um, that lays out, you know, projects for each person and, you know, uh, and, and example narratives and how we want to write it. And um, I'll do, I'll probably, what I'll do is I'll probably do like the first one and send that as a guide as to what we're make, trying to make this look like. Um, and then, you know, we can all, uh, we can all kind of collaborate on that and make it, make it one big large map that we can share to people and explain to them what we're trying to do. Okay. Very cool. Yeah, I think it'd be neat. Yeah. All right. So, um, so I think that's probably the only action item we have right now. I mean, aside from my group pulling together the MVP application, um, only other thing that we had talked about before was testing for that grant fund, uh, the grant from the DEP. Um, I actually got a consultant to apply for that on half of the town for free, uh, provided they get the work. So I'm working on that right now with them to get a proposal in. Um, so we'll have that application going to the DEP in the, in the next uh, couple of weeks. And then we have the MVP grant going in too. So between the two of those grants, we'll have some you know updates on the grant Ooh. applications and where we are next meeting. And then um, you know, kind of working on these projects as a, uh, you know, the, the each individual project narrative as a as an action item for everybody. I think that's kind of where we're at. Well, perfect. That sounds perfect. great. Yeah, yeah perfect. Okay. Good. All right. Um, so, anything else before we adjourn, or anybody want to bring anything else up that I'm not aware of, or something that we want to talk about? I don't have anything today. It, that sounds great to to be adding, uh, dividing up all the, the list and each of us yeah. having some cool. input on that. I like that. So awesome. yeah, that, that's great. Great, great. And you know, I think maybe as we do it too, keep in mind as we look at what we prepared, if we want to tweak it, this would be the opportunity to tweak it or add a project if we find something. So um, I think what we'll do is just kind of take it as a, as a, you know, we started with whatever we came up with initially. And then as we review these projects individually and, and kind of how we listed the projects. If you want to change that a little bit or modify them, this would be the opportunity to do that. I think what we would do next meeting maybe is start looking at, um, as we look through each project, maybe we review 10 projects each meeting or something as a, as a, um, you know, as a committee. And that'll be kind of an action item for us to talk about each project and what we'd want to enhance or what we'd want to add to it. Um, that's kind of how I was envisioning this going if that, works for everybody and I think there'll be a little bit more interactive than it's been uh, for the first few meetings but you know use this really as an opportunity to to lay out everything yeah I like that plan. Sure. yeah sounds great okay well all right um, so I guess I'll take a motion to adjourn and we'll uh, we got our action items and what we're gonna work on so moved uh, <laughs> there we go I get a second. <laughs> Second. second. There we go. Everybody's seconding. I love it. All right. Well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so moved. I guess we're we're good, and um, we'll uh, we'll set this up. I guess it was. So, do we think we want to do this next month, or would we rather give us a little bit more time for the next meeting? Um, I'm good for next month. Okay. I'm good for next Let's month. Keep, yeah. Keep the mo keep okay. the momentum going. 
Yeah, next month is good. And I just have a request, uh, Bill. If yeah. you talk to Mark Sardella before that, would you let me know? I definitely will, yeah, for sure. Okay, thank you. Yeah, definitely. So, All right. Are we talking the 18th of June? We are, I believe. And I'm going to just double check that my calendar here to make sure that yeah. there's no issues. But I believe that should be good. Wide open on my end, so I think we're good. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Hey. June 18th. Hey. All right, everybody. Great. Great. <laughs> looking, forward, looking forward to it. Thanks. Wonderful. Thank you, so efficient. <laughs> <I know. laughs> Talk to you all next month. Right. All right. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Bye -bye. Take care. Bye. 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 -bye.